that we have explored the main concepts of cloud computing, it is time to dive straight into the S4 HANA public cloud. In lesson one, I'm gonna provide you with an understanding of what the differences between single tenant and multi-tenant cloud additions are. But before I do that, I want to introduce you to the four SAP S4 HANA options that are available to you as a customer as of the time of designing this course. We have the S4 HANA on-premise edition. There is the S4 HANA private managed cloud edition. Third option is S4 HANA cloud single tenant edition or SDE or also known as the private cloud. And finally, there is the S4 HANA multi-tenant edition or MTE which is commonly also known as the public cloud. Just to emphasize, and as a reminder, this is the solution, the application, that will be the focus of this course. This diagram here, where the four options, the four different applications of S4 HANA are presented to you with their characteristics. Let us focus on the extreme left, which is the multi-tenant edition or the public cloud. The MTE is characterized by standard off-the-shelf functionality, the major processes that enterprises need to run their business successfully. The emphasis is on fitting your business processes to standard SAP. This process is commonly called fit to standard. However, it does not mean that you cannot extend existing functionality that SAP provides you with. Indeed, there are multiple ways to do that. One of the trademarks of the MTE is that functionality is released every quarter. MTE is built on infrastructure that is public and common to all subscribers. And as might be obvious, it is the cheapest to own of all the four options on this table. Now let's shift our attention to the next product, which is the single tenant edition SDE or the private cloud. And Right off the bat, you will notice a lot of similarities between the single tenant and the multi-tenant edition. The key differentiators are that the STE is more comprehensive in its industry coverage, has a release every six months instead of every three months for the public cloud. And very importantly, STE has dedicated system landscape on cloud infrastructure. This last point is key. To give you an analogy, MTE is like renting an apartment in an apartment building, while STE is similar to renting a single family house. Let us now look at the private managed cloud. You might wonder, what is this? Did we not just discuss the private cloud edition? True, but this is another cloud option you have in which SAP manages the entire infrastructure. You either subscribe to the applications and services, or you bring your own licenses, or BYOL, for those of you that are obsessed with acronyms. It is important to understand that the private managed cloud resembles the on-premise version in line of business scope and industry coverage. So it shares more characteristics of its on-prem sibling than it does with its pure cloud-based siblings, such as yearly releases and ability to customize. It can run on SAP's private cloud infrastructure, 
also known as HANA Enterprise Cloud or HEC, or AWS, or MS Azure. And finally, we have the on-premise version of S for HANA. I call it the you are the master of your own destiny version. You own, install, implement, customize, and maintain it. I think you're gonna like this diagram that I put together here to illustrate to you the concept of multi-tenancy. So let's take our rental analogy a little deeper. Just as you are one of the many tenants in a multi-unit apartment building, you are one of many subscribers sharing resources available to you and your fellow tenants in the public cloud. Among other things, in an apartment building, you share utilities like water, gas, electricity, a gym or exercise room, a main entrance, maybe a shared clubhouse for rest and recreation, maybe a swimming pool and tennis courts. Okay, I'm not showing a swimming pool or a tennis court in this picture because I do not want to run wild with this analogy, but you get the idea. In the MTE version, you are sharing hardware, memory, networking equipment, the security framework, etc., all of which is being maintained by SAP, just as the landlord or the building maintenance company manages all these services and utilities. And for all these privileges that you get, you pay a monthly rent or a periodic subscription fee. Okay, now let me dwell on a different angle of MTE, the contractual angle. I'm sure you're curious by now as to how you subscribe to the public cloud. SAP is there to guide you through this process. You need to go to the URL shown here. It takes you to the SAP Trust Center. Now click on the Cloud Services Agreement link. Of course, you can click on any link you want, but this is the link that will take you directly into the various cloud contract templates. Now that you have clicked that link, you're in the Cloud Services Agreements area. Read the information carefully. You can also view a sample order form. As a reference, a cloud contract for the MTE consists of service level agreement or SLA for cloud services, data processing agreement for cloud services, support policy for cloud services, supplement and general terms and conditions for cloud services. With this, we come to an end of lesson one. See you again in lesson two.